Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome to a brand new season of Stardew Valley. Now that we have a new update to explore, I felt like it would be the perfect time for us to dive back into the old farm. So in case you're new around here, hello and welcome. This is Farmer Jess, and she's taking care of Cattail Farm, which was her grandfather's pride and joy. Last time we were here, she had just started a new relationship with Sam, so a lot of things are changing about her life right now. And I'm pretty sure it was also Elliot's birthday, so we'll have to make sure that we find him some flowers around the farm. I'm sure we still have a couple more to spare somewhere in our chests. We did like to keep plenty of them on hand. Oh, and Evelyn! She's coming to greet us? Good morning, dear. Well, that's so sweet of you. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. Yeah, us too, Evelyn. It looks even better than I remember. Here, I brought you a little something. It's a gift from one gardener to another. Oh, is that some sort of pot? Received a garden pot. These pots are really handy. You can use them to grow crops of any season indoors. Oh, that does sound very handy. If we still had things to give to the Junimos, that would have been a perfect way for us to get those little odds and ends out of the way. They also look nice outside, but out here they can only house in-season crops. If you need more, they're really easy to make too. Here, I've got an old magazine clipping with instructions. Oh, excellent. So we could make a whole bunch to put inside? We'll have to find something special to grow in there then. I'm sure we have some leftover seeds somewhere too. Well, I'd better go. George gets grumpy if he doesn't have his oatmeal on time. You have a great day, honey. Oh, Evelyn. That was so sweet of her to come here on our very first day back and give us such a lovely gift. So the garden pot grows crops from any season when indoors. Outdoors, it can only house seasonal crops. But before we get to that, we absolutely have to say hello to Daisy. Oh, it has been so long since we last saw you, little kitty. Let's give you some water in your bowl. Some nice fresh water for you to drink on this beautiful fall day. We still have some flowers growing in our flower bed, so we'll make sure we water these too. But I'm pretty sure all of our other crops should be taken care of. We were growing beets last time we were here as a quest for the mysterious Mr. Key. And I believe we're also growing one of those ancient seeds because we want to give that to old Master Cannoli, of course. We have lovely apples that we can sell off and we have a greenhouse too. Let's see if by any chance our blueberries are finally ready for us to harvest. Oh my gosh, what a perfect day to come back. Look at all these blueberries. Jess is going to be rolling in gold by the time the day is done. I guess that means it's the perfect time for us to go to Robin's again to see if she might be willing to upgrade another one of our buildings. I think we were going to upgrade our coop again next because that should allow us to adopt some rabbits. Oh, we have to go say hi to all of our animals too. Our cows and our goats and our chickens. Jess's work is never done on Cattail Farm. I think this was also where we set some of our seeds though. Yeah, we have our ancient seeds, our starfruit seeds, and our beet seeds too. You know, maybe we should try growing some star fruits inside the house. We should see what it actually takes to make those uh, garden pots too. Let's see if we can find them in our crafting menu. I think they were right here. So some clay, some stone, and refined quartz. Oh, we could make a whole bunch of those. I'm sure that we have all of those materials just lying around inside our chest too. But first things first, we have to let our lovely chickens outside. Oh, and our ducks. I almost forgot that we adopted a little ducks from Marnie. Well, it has certainly been a while since we last saw you, but it looks like all of our animals are doing just fine. Our pockets are kind of bursting with all these blueberries, but we'll give you your food and then we'll head out here to open the door for your coop so you guys can stretch your legs out in the fall time sun. We better clear our pockets before we get too ahead of ourselves. We have corn to pick up down here too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's uh, place some of our blueberries in one of these chests. I think we were saving some down here so we could turn them into jams and whatnot later. 
but they always make some pretty good gifts, too. Then we'll just sell off the rest. We don't exactly have enough preserve jars to take care of all of these blueberries anyway. We might as well just pocket the extra gold. Oh, and we have our horse Maple over here, too. I'm not sure if I introduced her before. She's a brand new resident at Cattail Farm, and she seems to be enjoying her stay so far. And now we should finally be ready to go say hello to all of our cows and our goats. So as far as this update goes, the biggest change is definitely the multiplayer aspect, where you can build cabins for your friends to come join you in your world. But they've also added a ton of new features for the single player game too. And we've already experienced one with Evelyn's lovely gift. I haven't looked up many of the new things because I do want to be surprised. So I think it's going to be fun for us to wander around and explore this new update together. But first things first, let's go plant our starfruit. We want this thing to start growing as soon as possible. I guess we could always put it right inside our bedroom for now. We don't have a ton of room here, but it's probably the best place for us at the moment. Until we upgrade our house again so we have more room for a family. I'm sure there are probably more practical crops for us to grow inside, but I think the starfruit is going to look really cool. It's one of my favorite crops in Stardew Valley, so we might as well grow it wherever we can. So before we leave to go see Robin, we'll place all of our milk inside our cheese presses. We'll make sure that we grab one of those flowers too. Yeah, we always keep the extra flowers on hand. Now I can't quite remember what Elliot liked the most. I'm pretty sure he liked all kinds of flowers, so we might as well take this tulip, I guess and cross our fingers that he'll enjoy it for his birthday. And the other thing I hope we have is enough resources to actually build the upgrade. Oh, I think we might actually be short on wood. We might have to chop down some trees before we can upgrade after all. But we do have plenty of refined quartz, and we have plenty of clay too. So we'll be able to grow a whole bunch of star fruits inside our house as soon as we make some more of those clay pots. But it's already getting so late that I think we might want to take Maple and see if we can find Elliot before we end up missing his entire birthday due to all of our work on Cattail Farm. So he lives down by the beach. Typically he does like to stay somewhere in that area, gazing over the river by the bridge. Oh, but Sam is out today? It looks like he might be practicing on his skateboard. Well, we'll have to make sure that we say hi to him. I think we have a topaz in our backpack, and I know he does seem to enjoy some of the minerals. So, oh no, we've already given Sam two gifts. Okay, no more gifts for you, Sam. I'm very, very sorry. He's probably a little bit too busy to talk to us right now anyway, so we'll leave you to it. We have our own work to do as it is. Oh, there you are, Elliot. It looks like he might actually be leaving. Wait a second, we have a gift for you. You remembered my birthday? Thank you, this is great. He did seem to like that. Excellent. Yeah, Elliot pretty much likes all of the different flowers from what I remember, so I'm glad that we picked the right thing to give him. It's a nice way to ease ourselves back into Stardew Valley anyway. Oh my gosh, and look at all this coral that we have to pick up. We must not have been here in quite some time. There are little shells, little oysters that we can sell off for the gold. So at least we'll have enough money for the rabbits for sure. One of the things that I do know we can accomplish in this update is we can actually build Pam a house to live in. So something a little bit bigger than the trailer she and Penny have right now. And I'll bet Penny would really appreciate that too. Here's a secret, my mother loves beer. You could really make her happy with that. That's why she spends so much of her time at the saloon, of course. Something tells me she's probably in there right now. And it's actually a Friday night too, so I think that's when the whole town joins her. Maybe we should take a little break from all of our work then, just so we can say hello to all of our neighbors again. It's been so long since we last talked to all of our friends in Stardew Valley. Not sure that I have too many gifts to spare, but we do have some of our fresh apples. Oh, I wonder if Gus might actually enjoy one of these as a gift? We might as well give it a try. We actually don't know him too well. Oh goodness, are you sure? Oh, that's a nice big smile. I guess he did enjoy the fresh apples. Maybe he can incorporate it into one of his recipes. 
that he sells at the saloon. We have some amethysts that I know Abigail loves. And we have those frozen tears as well. So if they're all in the extra room back here playing pool, that might be a good thing to surprise them with. There they are. An amethyst for you, Abigail. I seriously love this. You're the best, Jess. And then we have a lovely little frozen tear for you, Sebastian. Oh, Robin, we missed going up to your shop, unfortunately. So I hope you're going to be open tomorrow morning. Have you met the wild man that lives behind our house? Oh, you mean Linus? I guess she doesn't know him too well. Maru sure spends a lot of time working on those gadgets of hers. Oh, I remember last time we spoke with her. She wanted to show off one of her robots, but it went a little bit awry, and Jess ended up getting zapped because of it. Oi, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. Oh, maybe we should buy her one? We don't have any other gifts inside our inventory to give her, so let's see if we can just buy her a beer, I guess? And then we could buy some coffee down here for Kent because I know that he loves that too. We are making our own coffee at the farm, but I didn't bring it with me today, so I hope you won't mind this gift from the saloon itself. Hey, now this is a really great gift, thanks. And we know that Kent really enjoys his coffee. A little bit late to be sipping on coffee, so I hope he's not going to be up all night. Jody is not going to be too happy with us if he is. I was hoping Harvey would be in here today, but it looks like he might be missing. Maybe he's just a little bit late coming back from the clinic. Or maybe he decided to skip out on the festivities today. Well, we'll save that coffee for him bright and early in the morning. He could probably use it more then than now anyway. And we'll go back to our farm, see if we can chop down some extra trees. So we'll hopefully have enough materials to actually buy this upgrade in the morning. There's always work to do on Cattail Farm. It never seems like there's enough time during the day, but it's nice to fall back into these old routines. I really miss Stardew Valley. All right, it looks like Jess might be starting to get a little bit tired, but the good news is we almost have enough wood to build that next upgrade. So let's have Jess jump into bed really quickly before she ends up passing out out here. Now that's the last thing she needs to have happen on her first day back on the farm. But with all of those blueberries, the jellies that we made. I'm pretty sure we're going to have quite the harvest on our hands. Oh my goodness, 16,000 gold? Yes, yeah, so welcome back indeed, Jess. You were on a roll today. So let's go ahead and water our lovely little star fruit. Yeah, we should make some more of these before the day is done. Then we can have a whole bunch growing right inside the house. Oh, and it looks like we have a letter too. I wonder if this is going to be something new as well. Wanted one fresh lobster for a marvelous bisque I'm creating. Okay, so Gus wants us to catch him a lobster of some sort. and It'll give us some gold for it. So I guess we might as well accept that quest. That should be easy enough for us to get our hands on anyway. I know we do have some crop pots out by the ocean. But these sunflowers will make an excellent gift. I think it was actually Haley who really loved the sunflowers last time we gave them to her. It probably reminds her of the summertime sun, of course, which seems to be her favorite of seasons. So I guess we'll have to pay her a little visit too. All right, that's all of our chores taken care of. So I think we're just down to the last couple of trees. It should be 500 pieces of wood that we need to create that next coop upgrade. So we want to make sure that we have enough materials before we go asking Robin to build it for us. I hope we have enough of this stone too. Did I actually chop that down so I can't get to that wood? Oh my goodness, I think I might have. Maybe if we mine out a couple of these rocks, we can reach it. There we go, just barely. Oh, we might want to look for different trees then. Ones that aren't quite so close to the edge of our map because we're going to end up losing a lot of a wood if we don't do this correctly. Maybe we'll chop down the trees this way instead, and hopefully that'll be just enough. There we go, 500 pieces of wood. So we'll go see if maybe Maple would like to stretch her legs again and run all the way up to Robin's this time. We'll take the path at the back of our farm this time that cuts straight through the mountains. Now I know she can build those cabins, of course. Those are definitely new but I'm not sure if there's anything else that they've added with this update. 
so I'm looking forward to checking out her catalog again. Hopefully she's in this morning. There you are, Robin. Hello. We wanted to ask you if you wouldn't mind upgrading our coop, actually. So let's see if we can find the right one. Yeah, there are those cabins. So there's a little stone one you can build. Oh, this one is super cute. Out of wood and fiber? I would put that on our farm just because it looks absolutely adorable. Who cares if anyone is moving inside? But this is what we were looking for. The deluxe coop. It houses 12 coop dwelling animals and it unlocks the rabbits too. So that's one of the last things that we need to complete all of the bundles for the Junimos. And I believe if we select this coop right over here, then Robin should get to work on it tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll start working on your coop upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Robin. We do always appreciate your hard work. Now I wonder if Demetrius might like to study some of these mushrooms that we found. That was very thoughtful of you. Yeah, he does like to study the life around the valley, so I thought he would appreciate that. Now I think I'll save Amaru's gifts for those strawberries that we have tucked away, because I know those are some of her favorites. All these falling leaves will provide food for the mushrooms and other small organisms. Oh, Maru, we actually just gave your father a little mushroom to study to. Maybe she would like to get her hands on that as well. Oh, it looks like Linus is right outside. Foraging around for some food, perhaps. It is one of the colder seasons, so he has to prepare for winter. Oh, it looks like he may have startled Robin. I guess she really doesn't know him too well after all. Oh, it's Linus, right? Are you hungry? I could make you some lunch. How about some leftover cave carrot stew? That's very nice of you, but no thanks. I've had great luck foraging today. Uh, okay. Well, it's nice that she still tries to offer some food. Jess, you look like you have something to say. I'm just pleased that Linus is doing well, or I'd like to invite Linus to live on the farm with me. Oh my gosh, can we actually do that? Can we let him live on our farm? I'm not sure if he would really be into that though, because he seems so happy out here. We might as well give it a try. Oh wow, he looks really shocked. That's really generous. What a great idea. I can build a real cozy house for you, Linus. You'll finally have running water, heat, a roof over your head, just like the rest of us. Isn't that wonderful, Linus? Oh, he looks sad. Oh, I didn't mean to offend you, Linus. Um, no thanks. I appreciate the kindness. I really do. But I've told you before, I choose to live this way. I like to be alone most of the time. I like the quiet sounds, moving with the rhythm of nature. It's a way of life that I'm comfortable with. I don't ever want to change that. Oh, I understand Linus. I'm a little bit disappointed that he's not going to come live with us. He could totally move his tent onto our farm. I mean, if he doesn't want the house, we do have plenty of room for him to pitch a tent. I guess I never thought about it that way. Jess, I cherish our friendship very much, and I know you do too. But you don't need to try and help me. I know best how to live my own life, okay? <laughs> okay, Linus. I'm glad that he's not too upset. He seems to understand that Jess was just coming from a caring place. But we need to let Linus live his own life. Can you smell that? It's the sweet aroma of ripe berries. And it sounds like he is living his best life out here. He knows all about the great things you can find out in the valley too. I wonder if Demetrius talks to him every now and then? Since he does seem to know the best places to forage... I guess he would also be able to supply Demetrius with some little specimens to study. So Robin might not know him too well, but I'll bet Demetrius shares tips with him every now and then. Now with the coop upgrade out of the way, let's see if we can finally find Harvey so we can give him that coffee that we bought at the saloon the day before. 
I'm guessing that he's probably in his clinic by now. And we can go ahead and check out the bulletin board on the way. Oh, wanted slime hunter to slay six red slimes in the deep lava caverns of the local mine. This is a very, very familiar quest. I suppose we might as well accept it. Maybe in the next episode, we can scoot down into the mines and try to get a little bit deeper. We still haven't finished the quest to get all the way to the bottom. That's what we're looking for next. So if Jess is feeling particularly brave, we'll see if she can take care of the job. It looks like Harvey might be stopping for lunch, so it's the perfect time for us to deliver your fresh coffee. It's for me. This is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. Well, I hope you're having a good day, Harvey. We're actually going to go back to the farm to see if we can craft some more of those garden pots. Oh, maybe we should stop by and give Evelyn one of our uh, sunflowers, too. I bet she would appreciate that. The tulips are her favorite, but unfortunately, they're out of season. Oh, I wonder if that's why she gave us those pots. Maybe deep down, she's hoping that we're going to grow her some fresh tulips, even when it's not the spring. Oh my, it looks so wonderful. That's very kind of you. Well, at least she liked the sunflowers anyway. And where is Haley hiding in the fall time? Do you think she would be inside? Or maybe she's out in the woods somewhere? I know she does like to explore every now and then. So we might as well make the rounds with Maple. Well, I don't see Haley out here anywhere, but I do see tons and tons of blackberries. Oh, I think this is also super close to where the hat mouse lives. And if I remember correctly, one of the other things they add to this game was the ability to put hats on our horses. So if we can find that little mouse, if we can find his shack out here in the woods, Maybe we can buy a special accessory for Maple. There you are, my little friend. All right, Maple, we are going to buy something very, very special for you. Let's see what he has in his shop. I suppose we could always have Maple match us and buy her a little daisy. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I'm assuming that you can probably put any of the hats on the horse. So hopefully this is going to work. I think it did. Maple definitely took it. Hopefully she didn't eat it. Oh, there it is. It's just on the other side of her head. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so cute. Now our horse can match our little farmer as they race all around the valley together. Well, Maple, all that should be left to do is go home and make some more of those garden pots. So we'll go ahead and set her right up inside her stable again so she can take a nice long break after riding us all around the town. So we needed stone, we needed clay, and we needed those refined quartz. And that should be enough to make plenty of these little garden pots. I guess we'll set up five inside the house. I feel like that should be more than enough, more than what we can handle. That'll be a nice way for us to keep our greenery strong in the winter time too. We do have this greenhouse with all of our blueberries, but there's something particularly charming about the flower pots. We could set up like a whole room just for these alone. I wonder if they would work the same inside of any building. So maybe we could build one of those sheds to place all of these crops instead. That way they're not all sitting right inside our bedroom. Though given how beautiful the starfruits are, I don't think Jess will mind. I think Kent was the one who wanted to give some of these starfruits to Jody to celebrate their anniversary, right? So this might even be a nice gift for us to give to Sam. I bet he would appreciate that too. Like a little tradition to carry in his family. I'm so glad to be back on Cattail Farm. And it seems like there is still plenty for us to discover. So in the next episode... We should be getting ready to adopt some of our very first rabbits. So let me know if you guys have any ideas for names that we could use. We might go into the mines as well if that quest is still active. Because goodness knows we have plenty of work to do deep down in those caves. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!